Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. Today we have a deck called Dragon Regen. This is a Fiora Shivana deck that I've been working on with Troll Gifts. Troll Gifts is a new card from Freljord during this last uh, Aphelios expansion. You grant an ally regeneration if they already have it. Uh, grant them plus two, plus two instead. So we, we are combining this with both Fiora and with Dragons to try to get out some interesting wins with our champions and their kind of level up conditions so this has been pretty cool so what we have here is kind of a semi buff deck so we've got omen hawk we've got two starlet seers and you'll notice here we've got 20 spells 20 units so quite a heavy spell deck um yeah we can get some pretty buff units with the, with the starlet seer and with the omen hawk even you know the additional one attack and one health uh stat line on a Fiora or a Shivana goes a long way. So Omenhawk is actually pretty pretty strong in this deck. And then all these other spells are meant to either win or level up Fiora uh, with our count combat strikes and with since we're in Freljord there's a lot of ways to kind of protect our unit's health. Or um, with the dragons we use the combat strikes to level up Shivana and get a whole bunch of dragons. Now we're not in, in Targon so we do have a limited pool of dragons but we can kind of get around that by including the Egghead Researcher who's including dragons and then you'll notice here at the bottom as well we've got a full set of the Stalking Broodmother um, who's a scout who actually can make very good use of, of buffs and then also of troll gifts. So we're actually including Stalking Broodmother in this deck. Not the most efficient dragon card I think just because it's relatively expensive. We are running a full set of it but we do need to get dragons just to level up Shivana. It, like it, it helps um, to have as many dragons as possible I think so we don't have the the um, convenience of having like in Viola's box to produce more dragons or early game dragons from Targon so stocking broodmother it is um you never want to keep this in your opening hand by the way that's completely awful and you also will notice as well in this deck kind of the one drawback is that there's not a lot of card draw our card creation comes from Akehead Researcher who you do want to mulligan for at the beginning of the game along with Omen Hawk and Fiora but um Everything else, we got combat strikes to help our units stay alive, and um, yeah, just Freljord cards as well to help keep our units alive, win the game through combat strikes. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. Troll gifts actually didn't come into play as often as I thought it would. Uh, we can use that on like the dragons, and once you know they've used their fury ability a lot to killing units, their attack stat is pretty high. So make use of that by putting troll gifts on them, but um, and then you know restoring their health at the end of the round but all in all troll gifts didn't really come into play that often um every once in a while it did definitely help out but like the combat strikes and the health buffs from freljord were generally enough to win the game on their own so um might play around with this a little bit more i really like shivana decks really like dragon decks really like kind of building around these and it has been fun so may it may have been kind of a um what's the word a inaccurate reading of the deck. I, I probably won 10 games in a row, to be honest. Maybe lost one in there, but but I won most of my games for sure. And um, there is a potential of just bricking out your hand with only spells since we are running 20. And since we don't have a lot of card draw options, you know, there is a chance that we just lose the game because we got spells in hand and that's all we have. But, but that didn't happen to me. Um, I could see it happening in the future, though, so just kind of keep that in mind as you're playing the deck. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. We are going against Lee Sin. Riven. Lee Sin and Riven. None of these cards are looking good. We want to get rid of all of them. We need some early cards. There we go. That's a little better. We do have Troll Gifts. We can use on Shivana. Or Fiora. Do we get a one damage in? We do. My question is, do I want to play Starlet Seer before Fiora? I think I do. Can't attack with with the Rune Weaver unless he got like a quick attack one there. So let's see. He he probably doesn't have quick attack. He doesn't have overwhelm. He most likely has the plus two in hand. 
And um, let's go ahead and play the Fiora. This is going to prevent him from doing a lot of things, actually. And we'll attack here. I think he's got the plus two in hand. I don't really know what the point of waiting for that is. Alright, single combat. We've got a big Shivana here. And he probably's got the quick attack now at least to put on his Rune Weaver. Ooh. Let's play Shivana now. This should prevent at least one of these guys from attacking. If not, I can chump one of them out with with the Omen Hawk. So, yeah. Okay, he's got a quick attack. He's got the plus two, more than likely. Yeah, okay, he can't put that down. Gonna let that hit us. Fine. For the honor of House Olga, break them. All right. We could level up Shivana here. I guess we trade that. I think that's fine. We keep the Shivana alive though. We trade five men into three. And another five into four, six, so. You just barely go even there. I'm gonna play this uh, troll gifts. I think I might as well. Got a little bit of reactability here. He doesn't have a lot of buffs left in his deck, I would guess. I think we go like this. Two one cost spells to to get a barrier on Lee Sin seems unlikely. And we actually have a backup Shivana too. Um, we don't. Well, we do get the level up. That sucks. What we get here? Troll chant. So we're gonna kill this ribbon, or try to anyway, unless he's got more, you know, unit or spells here. I'm gonna hold on to Fury. Sin, I would like. Let's go ahead and play the Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk's big. I would like to draw Concerted Strike. So we are pretty low on cards here, which. Ah, uh, there we go. Lee Sin coming out. We can get past his. um. We can get past any barriers that he puts on this guy.
I think we pass. He's not leveled up, which is important. I'm glad we got concerted strike there. We do take seven damage though. And our opponent surrenders. Okay, got the Shivana win. Nice. Concerted strike was very helpful there. We're going against Victor Freljord, Piltover Zahn. I wonder if this is going to be a Poro deck. I can see this being a Poro deck. I'm going to keep this opening hand. I'm actually not too upset with it. I like the Starlet Seer with these two spells, so we're able to protect him a little bit. Turn one play. I guess if it was a, a um, Poro deck, we would see it come out. He's got Omenhawk, though. That's fine, we're going to put out the Starlet Seer, he shouldn't have anything to be able to um, kill this unit. So I think we get a pretty good attack here. He's got his own Starlet Seer, yeah we're going to attack with it. It's fine. Got things around this. Alright. I wouldn't be surprised if he opened attacks here. It's kind of what players do usually. Um, he did draw more than likely his buffed unit. Let's see if he goes for it. Two screeching dragons in hand, plus a Shivana. Looking pretty good for Shivana level up. Nyandroid. Okay. So we do have a decent block, don't we? Mm, not really. He's definitely going to take this attack though. What's this at three? Mm, I honestly think we are okay with this. I think I'm going to waste this mana here. I would rather keep these um, spells for Shivana. So let's go ahead and put her out. Decent attack here. He's got four mana. Four mana. We've got sharp sight to protect them if He's got something like a thermogenic beam. Let's see what he goes for. Alright, Victor. Okay, we're going to attack. I think no matter what he does here, we are going to... I, actually, if he attacks with the Omen Hawk, yeah, this is definitely a mistake here for him. So we're going to kill the Victor with single combat. And we're going to also kill this Omen Hawk. I don't think there's any reason to wait on this. We buff our next card, and the Shivana is 10 of 12, and we've got decent protection for her as well. I might not have even done that if he'd had one mana left over for Thermogenic Beam and get a buffed um, Broodmother here. Alright, I'm going to not do anything. Um, I think this is okay, right? Troll chant. Actually, I think we do this again. We're gonna punish him for for using this. I think we just kill him. We'll level up Shivana, which means we can block into his units here. We can even use um. Sharp sight now. So we're gonna pass. This guy's going to attack. I didn't know we countered this deck so hard. <laughs> we're gonna kill his Nyandroid. Nice. And we've got a decent open attack now this next round, to be honest. So I think we just go for it. 
And we can do this because we've got Strafing Strike too. He just lets it go. Wow. A lot of damage. So we've got this in hand. He actually can't really do anything. Okay, never mind. He can. We're still going to take this out. We should end positive here, or even. We'll heal. No, positive, right? What were you, six? Did we get the kill? Yeah. Nice. So we can block this chief mechanism, Zevi now. And we get concerted strike. Alright, let's go ahead and put out Screeching Dragon. This is a big boy. And our opponent surrenders. So we don't get the satisfaction of finishing off the game there. But I, we we were pretty lucky, I think. We got, but but we've also constructed the deck around this idea. So I don't know. Like we we got the two single combats. I will say that that definitely helped us win the game. Um, that was pretty cool. That was satisfying. Besides not being able to finish off the game. Lux in Demacia and Freljord. Interesting. I don't really know where they're going to go with this. Um, I think we get rid of everything but Omenhawk. I need to find some of my units here. I would like to find a champion. And there we go. That's actually looking a lot better now. As far as spells go for the Starlet Seer, these are probably two of the worst spells to have at the beginning of the game. <laughs> so I don't know that we're going to get a lot of production out of Starlet Seer until we get something like the Screeching Dragon down. And, um, I think we blocked this. Ooh, tough. Let's go ahead and put down Starlets here. And we'll block this one. It's just fine. He's in Demacia, so there is a good chance that he has a single combat. Troll Gifts. I'm gonna pass here. I kinda wanna play reactively until I get better cards in my hand. And I'm okay with the mana being, um, with the mana being carried over to the next round. All right, let's go ahead and put out the Egghead Researcher so we know. Well, what do we know? <laughs> I don't know that we know anything. Okay, he's attacking with everything here. We drop down quite a bit. We had decent cards coming out so I don't really want to play concerted strike I think we just block here and um, we block here these two units survive this is gonna force him to play some cards here which I pro I will react to with fury of the north I think if he's got anything crazy I could kind of see him having a single combat okay nice so this is fine And now I think we play the Screeching Dragon. This is a pretty big boy here, 5-6. And we've got decent cards to help him out as well. Let's go ahead and just take out this tough unit since I don't really want to block into it with either of these. We've got Strafing Strike as well, which is decent. Mmm, it's tempting. I think we pass. I've got some concerted strike, so I'm going to be able to... Either way, like, he, he has a hard time attacking into me with this. Hey, we've got another Screeching Dragon. He has a hard time attacking into me with this card. Just because I've got the Screeching Dragon. Ooh, and now Lux is coming out. Nice. Oh man, I wish I had a four cost. We're gonna go like this. I wanna kill the Lux before he levels her up. He's got three mana, so he's got a few cards he can react with. He could have something like Sharp Sight or a, um, like, yeah, the Troll Chant. Up to seven. Nice. 
Nice. That's great. And yeah, he's got a hard time attacking us now. So we got a 7-8 challenger here now. Um, I think we played the Fused Firebrand. Maybe I play Screeching Dragon there. I probably made a mistake. Probably should have gone for Screeching Dragon first. Um, but we have Troll Chance still. Which I'm going to use. I wish I had my Shivana. I think we've got to take this guy out. That's a little annoying. I think we've got to take this guy out, though. We got Sun React ability here with Troll Chant. He might have his own here. Nice. This will be a good winter. Just take as little damage as possible here. And our opponent surrenders. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. We didn't get our champions though. We're going against Brom and Vlad. This is most likely a Scargrounds deck. Freljord Noxus. Opening hand is okay. I'm actually going to get rid of these two. Sharp Sight's a little bit better for early on in the game. But I would like to see my champions. I guess we'll stay on the bright side. We've got Omen Hawk to buff Fiora and Shivana. Right? Wonder if he's got um, Ember Maiden. By all means, get in my way. Oh, my first star. All right, we can pass here. I can kill this unit if I want to. Man, lots of single combats. Okay, so there's the Brom. We can kill Brom if we really want to. He's most likely not going to pull in where he is. I wonder if he has... Okay, so we're going to go like this. It's a lot of damage if he... he could... Okay, good, good. Elixir of Iron was really the only card that we needed to be a little bit worried about there. Got a 5-5 five, five dragon for basically no cost. And I think we pass here. I build this We're gonna kill this guy. Perfect. And I think we're gonna try to go for this while we're at it. He would have saved this card if he had a way. And now we just basically heal our unit for free. Concerted Strike is nice. Poor Vlad. Let's go ahead and just go for it. He didn't have it before. He's not going to have it now. And our opponent surrenders. So there we go. Combat Strikes out the Wazoo. We, we didn't draw any like of our units. We didn't ever get to the buff units that our Omenhawk buffed from turn one. So, drew a whole bunch of spells. <laughs> We're going against the deep deck. Deep. Deep deck. I think Fiora is going to be important in this matchup, so I am willing to get rid of all of these just to look for Fiora. There she is. Um, we want to get some early game kills onto this guy. That's a little annoying. Not gonna block. This is a weird deck already, I can tell, with the pesky specter. And we'll probably draw that card straight off the bat. Yeah, we're okay with this. 
Look how many cards he's got now. I want him to play down these really... Hmm. I'm going to pass here. I don't want to spin my mana. I've got a single combat. And Fiora. And now he's just put down two cards here. So this is why we were looking for the Fiora. He's got two one-cost cards. Um, we've got decent buffs for our units. I'm fine with this. Don't care taking damage. Put out the Fiora. Shouldn't have anything for for this amount of mana to kill my cards. And yeah, we're just going to open attack here. I'm open attacking because I've got plenty of spells to interact with. I've actually got lethal in my hand. I think we go with Starless here now. I could kill him with Concerted Strike, but he could have something to kill my unit with. So we're just going to go like this for now, play it a little safe, and end the round. We can play slow here, especially when he's out of like Vengeance range. So we're baiting out Vile Feast. All right, he's go. He's gonna pull on the Fiora. He's got no reason to. Uh, no reason not to. Right. Or I guess he does have a reason not to. Um. Five, six. This is fine. Again, I can just play kind of slow here. I'm going to jump block into the beast below. I've got an open attack here too. All right, Omen Hawk's fine. There's no reason to not play a little bit careful. Slow and steady. So he could have a vengeance here. If he's got vengeance, we win. Okay, now we just need to wait for him to commit the vengeance. Alright, I think we actually just make sure we got enough here. So, Grasp, but we've got Fury of the North, so. There we go. Easy does it, that's why we wanted to look for the Fiora in the opening hand. She is our win condition against Deep. And they've got a lot of early game cards that that they they just cannot deal with the Fiora. 